to Stephen and Jason's kitchen. Um, better known as I Hate My Kitchen from some of the previous videos. So anyway, today, um, in honor of all the paper chef parties that are going on, I actually have three of my people that we both are all having on the same week. I wanted to show y'all how to do something in the quick cooker. Ironically, it's on sale this week, so that's why I want to show you. It's in so, the quick cooker, but it sounds like you're trying to well, kill it. Well, I tried to get it ready, I had to warm it up for me. If you, you've got to get going with me, and then I'll talk some more. So we're going to make chili tonight. But we're doing Stephen and Jason's version of chili. I found a recipe online I like. There's a, there's a couple of them out there, and I actually kind of meshed them all together and put it in the way I like it, and the way Jason will eat it. So that's what we're going to do. So I, I'm going to get the vegetables started, and I'll tell you a little bit more as we go. So we're going to put in onion. This is about... It's about one and a half onion. I actually cut up two, and I kept a half of it to the side because we'll put it on top. That's going in there. And all I did to start this, it's uh, about a uh, quarter of a stick of butter. Did you scratch your butt and then use your hands to put the thing in there? No, I did not. Okay, just check it. Don't be starting on this now. Even if I do. Do you want to smell here? You no, go. that's all right. No, Thank I you. I might have brushed it. Uh-huh, that's it's what it didn't like look like to me. It's a brush. Like oh, well. Anyway, there you go. There's the extra. Um, so, we're putting in onions, and all I did to start this, there was a, about a quarter stick of butter, and there was also a little bit of oil. Um, I would normally use vegetable oil. All I had was olive oil, so that's what went in there. I'm putting in green peppers. This is actually two green peppers. It's a little bit... Actually, no, this is... Uh, yeah, this is... That's green, green peppers. peppers. two of them. I'm trying to think if I did one or two. I didn't get it both of them. So two green peppers are in here. That's going in there. There might be a little less have been eaten on it. Oh, well, that's good because that was a little bit more than what I wanted, but I just had two, so that's what I used. And then the other vegetable. The now, the recipe calls for about one jalapeno and like oh, a, no, no. A, 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 a poblano, a green pepper, that sort of thing. Well, Jason likes hot, so we're having hot. So I have about, there's about five jalapenos that I cut up, but there's, they're not all here, actually. This is probably about two and a half or so, so they're going in there. And you'll notice I didn't take the seeds out on those. Oh, that's what makes them better. Because he doesn't like me to take the seeds out. He gets mad when I do that. So we're putting it in with the seeds. In case y'all, y'all know us, everything we eat is hot, hot. So I'm just gonna wash my hands off so I don't get yelled at for getting the, the pepper in my eye or anything like that because I talk with my hands. That'd be funny. So I'm gonna just sort of mix this up. We're gonna let the vegetables get all colorized down in there. So they're in here. It's a lot of vegetables, that's fine. One of the reasons I like this recipe because you make it with a beer. So I just have to finish off what you don't cook. So you know, come on. Mm. So, while that's cooking, I'm going to point out the other items that are going in. We'll hit some of these, but the, I made a spice blend, and so there's a little bit of spice in here, just a little bit. And it's a mixture of a lot of different things. Amongst the things I have in there, we have in there, we have celery salt in there, which yeah. I know Jason just loves. I have Italian seasoning in there. Yeah, I have dollar store seasonings. Just don't, don't, don't make fun of me. I don't judge. Hey, okay? that's my job. Tom Lee's got a little bit of that in there. We have to support the dollar store. I have some cayenne pepper in there because Jason likes his cayenne pepper. And then I have, oh, what else I got? Chili powder. Got chili powder in there. Woohoo! And then we've got some cumin. You have to have a cumin. Is that smoke? Uh, I also have this dried cilantro, which is really good. If you don't like this, you can leave it out. It's up to you, but I like it. Once you mix it all up, you don't really notice it's in there anyway. Well, that stuff is good, too. Jason likes his adobo, so we had to have the adobo, so it's in there. You can pretty much say I just opened up my spice cabinet and just whipped, and just said, whatever you feel like I want to throw in, just put it to the front of the cabinet. That's what went in. There's some seasoning salt in there. And then... I also threw some of the Cajun in there. This is some habanero. This is good. Mm. This is, I think I told y'all before that Dolly and Steve, our friends, they gave this to us on their, one of their trips to Biloxi. So there's that. So there's the spices that are going in. Now, in addition to the spices, we're going to put in, we have some diced tomatoes. We have some rotel. 
we have garlic, which I'm going to go ahead and throw the garlic in. So some, some crushed garlic in there. That's going to be. Now, I cheated. I did both. I actually did a little bit of the minced out of the jar, and then I did some of the real stuff, too. So, it's all in there. And then, I also, I told y'all, I have the beer. There's the beer. So, there's the beer right there. I have taco sauce, so I found some taco sauce. It's about a quarter, I think it's about a quarter of a cup of taco sauce. I think I put a little bit more in because anytime they tell me what to put in, that's a suggestion. I always add more mm -hmm. for what I feel. So I was feeling a little bit more taco sauce, so we put more taco sauce in today. We're going to put some Worcestershire sauce in. And those spices, you know, it's between a tablespoon, teaspoon, teaspoon, tablespoon, whatever you feel, whatever you like, put some of that in. I also put salt and pepper in there. I forgot to put, put that as a note. Um, and I also saw the paprika back here. I put that in there, too, so that's in there as well. Um, Worcestershire sauce. And we have a little bit of sriracha, which is sriracha bottles about sriracha. gone. And then Jason's oh. favorite. This is his favorite, favorite This is hot favorite. sauce from hell. This stuff is about five years old. No, it is about five years it's old. It's close, but it, you, there's, trust me, there's Let me whatever's tell you, in here, it's going to kill whatever was in here, trust me. It'll kill what you have, too, um, if you have anything. I mean, it says, you, re you read the bottle, it says hot, hot, okay? We buy this in St. Martin, and St. Martin, right off the cruise ship, when we, back in the day when the world was still going and we could still travel before it got killed. But, um... This is a hot sauce. You can only eat just a little bit of this stuff, and it will bring tears to your eyes. So we always put a splash of that in there. And I think that's all that I've got here. Yeah, that's all that's going in. And then the hamburger, which I'm about to dump in. Oh, and after all that, I've got some uh, beans to go in there as well. So got to have your beans. So I'm going to put the hamburger in. It's going to... Not the whole package. The whole thing fell. It's going to look a little browner because I just defrosted it. So it's going to look a little brown on it. I think we measured it out, but I'm not sure what it turned out to be. You know we have that little breaking thing. I had the bootleg version of this, the, 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 the chopping. Is this the Dollar Tree version? Chopping star. No, this ain't the Dollar Tree. I don't think they have one. We sell it. You have this at the Dollar Tree? Yes. Don't tell these pampered chef people that, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Y'all didn't hear that. Sherry, you didn't hear that. Don't edit me. Okay, so anyway, we're going to just put this. It's like a, I love this thing. The one from Pampered Chef is actually better. I will tell you that. The reason why I say it's better, it's actually curved, so it actually works a little bit better than this one. But this one works uh -huh. in a pinch. Try it to does. suck up. It does work better, but I didn't have time, and I haven't had that one come yet. So I wanted to buy it, and it just hasn't been on my list yet. So it's been on my list. It just ain't made it to the, to the, to the cart yet. So anyway, that's that. And so once you get that all broke up in there, we're just going to brown off that hamburger. It's going to get mixed up with all them vegetables down in there. Now, the beautiful thing about this recipe is it's real simple. You just basically measure it all out. You dump it all in, and it's good to go. It ain't going to take that long. Some people like making chili in the crock pot. It takes you all day. But this quick cooker thing is going to be done. It, the cook time is only about five minutes. It takes a few more minutes for it to come to pressure, but it's only five minutes once it starts cooking. And then you're pretty much done. So it's really, really, really simple. So I'm just letting this brown. And then what's going to happen when we bring this all out? We'll, we'll probably bring it all out. We'll garnish it. I like to put some, have some fresh onion on there. I've got to cut up. I'm going to put that on there. And then we're also going to put some cheese on it. And... Uh, Jason loves my next piece. I put sour cream in my. I love sour cream. Ugh. Jason don't like sour cream. You don't put sour cream in chili. Y'all knows he don't like much. I, I have all the good stuff I like. He don't like anything. That's weird sometimes. So. That's okay. We we love him anyway. We put up with him. So it's all good. That's right. Somebody yeah. has to. He's one of God's children too, and we've got to take care of him. So that's what we do. So here we go. We're about to the point of adding that next little item. The next item is going to be the beer. I just wanted to make sure the hamburger got cooked a bit more. Now, one thing I've noticed about the um, quick cooker, if you have like an Instapot or you have like a Ninja Foodie, I noticed that this 
uh, quick cooker cooks a little faster in the sense of like the saute. It's a, it's always hot, like it's a high. Like I think on the well, other. That's why it's called a it's, quick cooker. It's quick, but it's good. I'm just letting you know because sometimes I find things cook just a little bit faster on the saute mode in this than they do in the others, which can be good. But if you're not used to that, you might find yourself, you know, getting a little heady yourself. So it's all good. So I'm gonna go ahead. It looks like it's about browned up. Does it look to your liking? That looks good to me. Okay. You know, it's all going to go in the pressure anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's not 100%. It's fine. It's a great thing about the pressure cooker. It's going to, whatever we don't do now, it's going to do here in a minute. So that's what we're going to be ready for. So I'm going to go ahead and add the beer in. Ooh. There's beer. And it'll cook off a little bit, but, you know, it adds that little flavor to it. There's a lot of uh, recipes out there that have the beer in it, I've noticed. I've looked around, and there's a lot of them that use it. You should use a heavier one, like a lager. Um, I had this. It came in one of the gift packs, and I like this beer. But, you know, I had it out, so I was like, I'll just use this one. Um, you don't want to use, like, a little Bud Light because it's almost like putting water in. You don't want to do that. So that's what we got going there. So I'm going to go in and just stir a little bit more. I think we're good to go there. I'm going to go ahead and add in my tomatoes. I am not going to drain these because you're going to use the liquid. Thank you, sir. I like the magic hand that reaches out and grabs things for me. It's like having Cousin It around. Yeah, that's it. Or no, sorry. That's, that's cousin the one with the hair. hair. Cause, uh, what are you talking about? Sorry, I was thinking the wrong um, thing. You are a thing. I'll yes, I am that. a thing. He is a thing. I will tell you that. Um, and then I had, I don't have the hot one, but I've got Rotel. That's going in. Did I spill on myself? No, I didn't. There we go. So I've got Rotel's going in there. There's Rotel. You can put, I actually, I think the last time I did this, I put two Rotel's in, but I didn't have but one, so it's only going to have one. You already made me stop at Publix as it was. Oh, stop it. And then I'm putting in just tomato sauce. It's about eight ounces of tomato sauce. That's going in there. Just plain Jane tomato sauce. Oh, sorry. And then I'm also going to put in my taco sauce. There's my taco sauce. It's going in there. There we go. See, like I said, once you get to this point, you're just basically dumping stuff in. It's real simple. There's a beer one for you. Then I'm going to put me some Worcestershire sauce in there. Some Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. I guess like a little teaspoon taste. Ah, oh, I made a mess over there. We need to... I need a wipe down on aisle two, please. Sorry, the maid's off. It's right there in the corner. There. Well, what? I don't do that. That's what my sous chef's supposed to do for me. The sous chef is on vacation. Well, don't be doing that to me now. Don't do this at home, kids. So it's either a vacation break. or on break. Yeah, well, I got Worcestershire all over the place over here. Just right where's, the, we where's the cats at when you need them? I know. They could lick that up. That would be great for them. All right. So Worcestershire is in there. I'm going to take my Sarasha. Sar oh. <laughs> I don't know where it just shot, but it shot somewhere. Did it? Where'd it go? I just saw it go. <laughs> I think it landed on all the alcohol. Oh, did it? Yeah. Uh, well. Oh, well. That's what my cleanup proof for. I'm putting some Ciroc shit in there. Not that much. I'll just put it all in there. Come on. Squeezy. There we go. Get all that good stuff out of there. There we the go. The hotter, the better. There we go. That's fine. Finish that bottle off. That bottle's probably been in there about a year or two. So. Woohoo! Here comes the good stuff. And then we're going to put the hot, hot, hot stuff in. Now, remember, you're only supposed to put a little bit of this in. So we gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Gotta Sometime be careful. this century. Careful. There we go. That should do it. This is one of those where I can truly say you one little dabble, do you? And we still got another whole bottle to go. We do, yes, it's good. Alright, so that's there. And I think that's it. Now the only other thing I got over here is my spices. I still gotta put those mm -hmm. in. What about the thing I bought today? Oh yeah. I didn't open that up. I did open it. You made me go to Publix oh, and go in there it. at the store, and then you're not going to uh, use it. You know what? Um, where's my stuff at? I can't believe this. Where's the tablespoon piece? That um, one. Well, yeah, this will work. I don't even know why I buy the measuring spoons. I don't use them, but I use them to dip. To dip. I don't use them to measure. 
Oh, this is hoisin sauce. Um, I've seen, well, there's been a couple of recipes I've seen online, and, and a while back I saw this, and I was like, ooh, that sounds interesting. Um, it's an Asian spice. You probably don't use it very mm. often. You wouldn't think of putting it in chili, but it's actually really good. Um, I'm going to put about whatever this is. Is it a tablespoon? Well, like a tablespoon. Something like that. I'm going to put that in there. Just gives it a little bit of... It's got a little sweet to it. I think it mm. helps. So I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to stir up a little bit more. Now, did I forget anything else over there? Let me go down my little list over here and make sure. Stop eating everything I put in front of you. Dinner's coming. You're going to ruin your dinner. You don't feed me. Butter, oil. I put the meat in. Um, onion, jalapeno, poblano, green pepper, garlic, uh, beer, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, rotel, uh, hoisin sauce. Got that taco sauce that's in there. Why do I feel like that? Oh, that's twice. Okay. Uh, Worcestershire salt, Italian uh, seasoning, cilantro, cumin, chili powder, seasoning salt, celery salt, Cajun seasoning, and I got my beans, which will go in here just in a moment. And then my other two spices, which y'all already saw me put in. So I'm going to put my seasoning packet here in. It looks like a lot, but it's really not. Remember, they're dollar store seasoning, so they're not very strong. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, there's a, there's a reason they're a dollar, you know. Why are we beeping? Probably because it's reached its peak. So it's a, it's at the right time anyway. It's fine. So we're going to stir this up just a little bit more. I stir, stir, stir. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to dump my beans in. Beans incoming. Now, something important I'm going to tell you about these beans. Now, it's the only thing that I actually rinsed. So I rinsed these out. I use two cans of beans. You could, they're red beans, but you, I use the dark and I also use the light. I don't want to, you know, pick one over the other, so I pick both and integrate them in here. Um, so I'm going to put them in here. I am not going to stir these in. I'm only going to set these in here and put them on top. You don't want them going down to the bottom. There's a potential they could burn if you let them sit on the bottom. So we're not going to let them sit on the bottom. So I'm just going to sort of spread them out here, but I'm not going to go in and stir around in there. So that's what it's going to look like. Now I'm going to go get my lid. Does that not look good? Oh, it looks fabulous, don't it? So I got my lid. Oh, and I got it on the right the first time. Now, I made sure my little cloud is facing, or the little steamy thing is facing my other steamy thing, which is good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I hit cancel down here. And then I'm going to hit custom. And I want this for five minutes. So I want to change the time on here. So I want to hit time. And I hit the little down. Down, 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 down. Okay, so it's at five. And then all I have to do is, after I make sure this is all good, which it is, we are going to hit the start or the play button, and it's going to cook. And so now, we just let it come up to pressure, and then once it's up to pressure, it's going to cook. And then I will be back with you, or we will be back with you shortly, and we will show you the rest. a few extra minutes um but basically we're now going to simply put this on a quick release so all i'm going to do to do that is i'm going to hit the little magic button and little smoke's going to come out of his eyes chomp it there click it now and so we're going to do that and then it's going to take actually i could let it sit another few minutes so i may just do that and then come back to you all which i think is what we're going to do you could open it right away, but I think I'm going to let it sit for just another few minutes and let it meld together. That way that when we open it, it'll be good to go and I can plate it up and we'll be all set. All right, we'll see you back here in a few minutes. Already released it. 
I'm just going to open this little thing up here. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to take my pamper chip do hit me with Jimmy, my microphone, and I'm going to go in here and stir, stir, stir. Now, it's a little juicy, but that's okay, because actually as it sits, it'll actually absorb in. It looks really, really good. Look good? Mm-hmm. You want to taste the sample before we... Sample. You can have a little sample before I pull it out. See how this goes. It's going to be hot. Got a kick. Woo, got a kick. I like kick. Yeah, got a kick. Yeah. It's not gonna be hot. Like temperature hot, it's gonna be hot. But I you know if I need to put anything else in it before. Ooh, that does have a kick. But is it good? Oh, it's good. Okay, good. So. We're going to scoop some of this stuff on up here. Oh my gosh, is that good. That'll clean out your sinuses and everything else. So, anything you got ailing you, this stuff will help you. Oh, yes. This will help you. We're going to put some of this all in here. Ooh, look at the burger. Whew. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make this up over her. Oh, I'll do the other one while we're thinking about it. That way we can both see at the same time. Yes, because I'm starved. Well, you know, somebody went on a little side trip on their way home today, so I don't even want to hear it. I had to go visit people. Uh-huh. I know what you did. You went back to that place. Hey, I get free stuff from that place. Yeah, you got a free pink slip from that place, too. How's that work? Well, that's true. Yeah, that works. They sent you a bon voyage present. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put sour cream in mine. Yeah. I know he ain't going to want sour cream in his, but I'm going to put sour cream in mine. So we'll put that in. Just a little dollop there. Just a little bit. That's half the we'll thing. Have. Put some onion. You want onion? Yes, please. Regular onion or green onion both. or both? Onion. Green onion. Green onion. Of course. I didn't point these little doodads out earlier. These are the little um, one cup measuring things. You can buy a set of these from Pampered Chef and they come with the cool little lids you put on top so you can measure your stuff. It is so of nice. This actually, oh, there's one on the floor down there. There's a kitty cleanup. I get, won. Get it down there. Get it down there. Did you eat or did it's you? It's too healthy. Is that too healthy for you? Well, it's too healthy for me too. Oh, well. All right. And then some cheese. Yes. You know if the cat won't eat it, it's too healthy. Yeah, I don't know why we're eating it, dude. Put some cheese on it. I may have to come back for more cheese. Not enough room. Mine's good like that. Thank you. All right, perfect. Ooh, ooh, look at that. So it's done. It's ready. Does that not look delicious? I think this is yours. Yes. So we're going to put one in yours. And we'll put one in mine. And so there we is. Oh, it's going to spill. I'm going to set it. So I'll eat my little piece right here so you know I ate some. Hey, he's not trying to. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Wheat night meal. You can do this. Quick cooker. More, if, like I said, you measure all the stuff out. Cooks in like five, ten minutes. You let it sit for about ten, fifteen minutes on the quick release on the uh, the quick release, it, and then you let it sit for like ten, fifteen minutes in the in the keep warm, and it's good to go. And this stuff is one of the few things that we will actually eat on the second day if we have leftovers. That's if we have leftovers, because actually I find it actually almost as good or better the second the day. The second day, yes. That's good. Mmm. 
Mmm. Mmm. I hope y'all enjoy this. You yes, can make it yourself. You make your own variation of it. Change up a little bit. All right. See ya. Have a good one.